Tumen Bay from Panoply and the BBC. Previously on Tumen Bay. Am I to understand you are arresting me? By whose authority? The Sultan. There are spies everywhere. They sleep through the walls. Who can I trust anymore? Who can I trust? This reliquary, did anyone ever go to war for a box? She's trying to divide and confuse. She wants to plant fear and mistrust to weaken our resolve. I tried to get a message to you. We are in danger. It's all gone insane here. My uncle suspects everyone. But General Kulan, he's loyal. Is he? Yes. The most loyal soldier in the Empire. Who are you? I am Wolf. I come from the hill country with my cavalry. For centuries we have fought for Tuman Bay. I've been a lot of things in my life. Many of them I'm not proud of. I've used people. I'm really just a mercenary for hire. But I found something I believe in. What? You. The scrolls are not important. They don't matter. Who is the child? This is a boy who has been making prophecies. His reputation has spread far and wide. Oh, Gregor, Gregor, what has happened to you? You think by bringing to His Majesty a circus performer, he will... Wait! Bring the child forward. I am going to save Tuman Bay. Of course, if I fail... I don't understand. You don't need to. I know the future. I have nothing to fear. I am ready for battle and I will march at the head of my armies and destroy your poor bitch queen. You're listening to Season 1, Episode 9 of Tuman Bay. Help, they say, often comes from unlikely sources. Gifts from new friends. I say... Beware, new friends. Be careful with that! You never know what they want in return. We've not brought it 700 leagues to have some oak drop it. This place stinks, Diego. My dear Donna Anna, all ports stink. They stink of trade and profit. Not for those poor devils. They all start out as slaves, and some of them end up as generals, sultans. Anything, really. It's a dangerous idea, Diego. There is an order to society. Overturn that and you risk anarchy. Gently, Cassio! And it is a sight to have seen, eh? The walls of Tuman Bay, the painted towers, the... What do they say? A million rooftops reflecting the sun. Very poetical for a man in your line of work. You know what I think? No one knows what you think, Anna. I think it's all held together by a web of fear and ambition and obligation that seems to them like the ropes that hold the weight of your precious cargo, but that are, in fact, as light and airy as spider silk floating on the morning wind and as fragile. (laughs) You're not the only one can spout poetry, Diego. But it still stinks to me. But not of money. It stinks of death. Well, isn't that the business we are in? Hmm? Tuman Bay. Episode 9. The Jaws of Victory. By Mike Walker. Will you stop that noise, please? I want to go back now. You can't. Why do you say that? The Sultan wants you here in case he needs to ask a question. He can send a message if he needs me. I'm ready to go home now. It doesn't work like that in Tuman Bay. If the Sultan wants you here, here you will stay. And it's my job, as Master of the Palace Guard, to carry out the Sultan's wishes. So you will remain here for as long as His Majesty deems it necessary. And will you stop bouncing that ball? I want to go back, now. 
I will look after you. You'll be quite safe. I can send a message to... I have dreamt this. We will go back. You will take me back. Well, no, actually, I won't. So what does that say about your dreams? You will. Because more than anything, you want the scrolls. I don't like this child. And yet, I am dependent on him. Even getting back underground is only possible because he's leading me. And I have never liked being led. Put your sword away. Keep walking. No one will hurt you while you're with me. Besides, I have seen your death. You're quite safe. For now. This death of mine you've seen. Am I old or young? Neither old nor young. And... What is the nature of my death? A wise man wouldn't want to know. But of course he would. If you knew for certain when you would die... Everything would be impossible for you. Tell me. You will fall a great distance. Fall to my death? From the city walls? Before you die. But first, you will meet one who wishes to mend that which was broken. Why can't you damn prophets be plain and clear? Because nothing is plain and clear in the world. The one who wishes to mend is high above you. How will I know him? He will know you. And will he kill me? Perhaps he will kill what you value most. What's that? My position? My reputation? You will know when the time comes. I have seen it. We are here. I knew you would come back, my little froggy. <laughs> you see? I have brought him back, just as I promised. Perhaps. And perhaps not. I was wondering, now that I'm here, could I see the girl Sarah and her baby? I have news of her brother she will want to hear. Yes. Let him see her. Take him, mother. So his foot does not stay. This way. Careful. What in God's name is that? It's the chasm. There's a fire down there. No one knows how deep. Sometimes it rears up like a dragon. Like the mouth of hell. Over there. Go. She'll be waiting. What if it's a trap? I have brought you here just as I promised. Go, if you wish to see her. Hello? Hello? Are you here? What do you want, Gregor? You deserted me last time before I could give you news of your brother. What news? Do you have the scrolls? I am the Sultan's representative and he demands their return. If you want the scrolls, it's for your own power. I'm trying to help you. Give me the scrolls and I'll leave you and your child alone. I'm indebted to you. But if you want to make it more difficult, I can return with an army and march this whole rat's nest of thieves and vagabonds out in chains. Once there was a teacher who'd rather than sit in the temple went to the marketplace one day and told the people that there is only one God. He doesn't want gold and silver and huge temples and statues. He wants the hearts of men and women. Men and women who are not afraid to die for their beliefs, 
because they knew they would die blessed. And he wrote all these things down on two scrolls. And over the years, these scrolls became the most sacred relics to the believers. And that is why the Sultan will lose Tuman Bay, and why Maya will triumph in the end. Who are you? You were never a slave girl, that's certain. Is anything you say the truth? Aren't you the man who can find the truth? Yes. That's what I do. Tell me, they said you murdered a good man who was your benefactor. He was a bad man. He abused us both. Only the truth will do now. Yes. He bought us in the mountains when we were starving children. It was he who gave Kulan and I our start in Tuman Bay. And that is why he had to die. If Kulan and I were to rise to the top, we could be beholden to no one. There. I give you that. A free gift. The scrolls! First, you must do something for me. A message. To whom? Ibn Bey. Take this to his house. So that he knows the baby and I are safe. Bring his answer and then I will give you what you want. Maya's forces are here and here. Excuse me, Majesty, if you have a moment that I might. Not now, Kadali. Go on, General. They are lightly armored and consequently able to move fast. They can adapt to local conditions, but they don't have the weight of armor and infantry to sustain a battle. We must fight on our terms, not hers. Exactly, Majesty. Wolf's cavalry will pen her forces in like sheep for the slaughter. Her people are fearsome archers. They can deliver a rain of arrows that can cut down an army. It's all about discipline and good shield work. Arrows will not penetrate iron wood and metal. If they stand, she'll try to make our men panic, and once they break... They won't. They have discipline. Even, if I may put in a word, Majesty, even the provincial troops? They will hold if they believe they are on the winning side. If they doubt it, they'll scatter. And how, General, will you convince them they are on the winning side? Come, Majesty. Kadali, you can come too. I want to show you something. Go ahead. Elevate a little more. So much. Hold. Very good. Fire! <laughs> we will allow these muzzles to do the convincing for us, <laughs> Majesty. <laughs> the finest brass. I think you'll find the gold you spent has paid real dividends. Reload! You ordered these without my knowledge? Would you rather not have them, Majesty? These aren't like our little cast iron cannon. They won't blow up in your face. <laughs> I want to see them work properly. I don't understand you, Majesty. And you are? Don Diego, Costa de los Barranca y Caribas. From across the great sea, sire, where they have mastered the art of the foundry. All of this means nothing. Show me something real. Show me what it does. To that building. Uh, sire, surely that is the... I know what it is, Kadali. What I want to know is what this cannon can do to it. Get the barracks empty now! Get the barracks! Sir, whatever you wish, but show me what it does. I want to see the results for my gold. Traverse three points south of west. Set range at 2,000 yards. Is it too far away? Not at all, Majesty. The effective range is 3,000 yards. Maya has nothing to equal that. Ready? I am not certain the barracks are... Ready! Fire! <laughs> that general is what I call complete. 
It's just a pile of rocks. <laughs> I like these cannons of yours. Do we have the men who can fire them? Don Diego has provided a gunner for each crew. Each? How many? There are six of them, sire. Do I have your permission to carry on and complete the purchase? <laughs> you have done well, Kulan. Yes, carry on. Yes, well done, General. Thank you for your approbation, Kadali. It does help, of course, not being locked up in a stinking cell. A little hardship is good for the soul, we are told. But, Majesty, if I may, there is something of the greatest importance that I must discuss with you. <laughs> By God, I'd like to see her face when she sees these. <laughs> ah! It's hot! Hotter than hell, Majesty! Then that's where we'll send her. Come, Kadali. We need, as I'm sure you can understand, Majesty, to make some provision, inadequate though it will be, for your absence. I'll hardly be away for long. And you will return victorious. But the city must have proper authority. What if these spies of Myers provoke an insurrection? There must be someone who can act fast and firmly. And you suggest? I would have said Gregor. After all, he is master of the Imperial Guard, but where is he? Where has he been? And then there is your nephew, Mardu. The young man has come on wonderfully from the army, but he is young and the court can be treacherous. He's untested. And there is, of course, his uh, uh, personal life. Go on. I have served you long and well. Really? Can you doubt it, sir? And yet General Colan went to prison. Was it not on your advice? Majesty, like, like any man. There was suspicion against Colan, the scales tipped, and you added the weights. Now he's free. Does not balance demand the scales fall on the other side? Your counsel was wrong. I have my faults, but, but, but my lord, mistakes. I mean, any man may get it wrong. That's what is so interesting, Kadali. Did you get it wrong? Or did it go just as you wished? After seeing that cannon, I wonder what it would do to a man to stand in front of the one that fired a thousand spikes. My lord, majesty. <laughs> majesty. Here we all came from the dirt. And to the dirt we shall all return. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Your Excellency. He's in there. Maya's envoy. Yes, sir. Open the door. I wish to speak to him. Sir, my orders... Your orders come from me. But, sir, the vizier... Uh... Yes, sir. Certainly, sir. Ah. Have you come to set me free? Of course you haven't. You've come to ask me a question. You think you know my business better than I do? Probably I do. Then you can give me the answer without hearing what I have to say. Yes. That's it? Maya still wants the scrolls. They are still your best chance of surviving what is about to happen. Unlike your chances, which are getting shorter by the moment. Don't pretend to be the fool you're not, Gregor. Our forces will crush Maya. And then you will die. And dragons are real. And jinns haunt our dreams. <laughs> Gone! My visitor is leaving. Uh, Your Excellency, what should I... Is it time to get out from under? Not yet, perhaps, but soon. Maybe soon. And maybe I'll take the slave girl with me. There's something about her. General. What do you have for me, Commander? My scouts tell me that at least two more provinces have declared for Maya. Men are flocking to her banners from all over the Empire, even from beyond the borders. How do you see it from the saddle? Either we take her now, or she'll advance and lay siege on Tuman Bay. Then we have the Sultan's permission to go. Very good, General. Wait, Wolf! 
You were treated badly. As I was. I have reason to be loyal to this city. You don't. I offered my loyalty to you, General. You still have it. I never doubted it. Your men will play the decisive role in the battle to come, Commander. That's how we like it, General. Very well. Keep your scouts in the field. We need to know every move she makes from now on. Things are beginning to move fast. Very good, General. Messenger. General. To the Sultan. We march with the sun tomorrow. General. Daniel. Walk with me. I haven't had a chance to thank you yet. I did my duty, General. My wife and daughter were not your duty. I had been imprisoned. You stood by them. You took care of them. You could have been arrested. It would have been an honor. Besides, I had no doubts you would be freed. Tumambe needs its greatest general. Nevertheless, I value your loyalty. Now. Some time ago, I asked you to get close to the Sultan's nephew. We are firm friends, sir. What's he like, the young man? I've seen him at court, and when he was with the troops, entitled and weak. Yes. He was thinking of running away. His mother has a palace in the mountains. He thought it would offer peace and safety. I persuaded him it was his duty to stay. Why? You wouldn't have asked me to be his friend if there was not some purpose, some use. Do you object to that? In this world, we are all to be used, and perhaps, if we are lucky, to use. Very good. Now, I'm going to command you to give up the chance of battle. Sir, no. No, but a battle is where a man can shine, show his worth. War is unpredictable. No one can be sure of what will happen, how the day will go. It is vital that Tuman Bay has a stable leadership. You really think that Madhu can provide that? I think things are changing. Nobody quite knows what's happening. I'd feel more comfortable if there was someone I trusted standing at young Madhu's shoulder. You think he'll be needed in some way? I don't know. General, the provincial commanders are ready for you now. Good. Let's go and show them how the cannon roar. I need to show my face in the palace. See and be seen. Doing my job. A formidable sight. Hmm? Yes. The greatest army in the world. The largest, I have heard. Madam, we've not been introduced. My husband, Don Diego, has provided your sultan with six cannon. There, you can see them being harnessed. And naturally, you are interested in such things, armies and artillery, even to the extent of making notes. Mm, traveler's tales are very popular in my country, Gregor, master of the Sultan's guard. How do you know who I am? We've not been introduced. All courts have gossip and tittle-tattle, sir. Yours no less than mine. Perhaps we will meet at the celebration tonight. Ah, yes, of course. Are there maggots on the body before it's dead? What's your name? What? What's your name? It's all right, I'm in a cell, I can't hurt you. Not that I want to, of course. I'm not supposed to talk to you. I'm a guard, I guard the prisoners. That's what I do. Well, I'm not going to cause any trouble. You're Maya's envoy. You're the enemy. Is that what I look like? Stuck in a cell? <laughs> and yet you seem scared. I noticed that about Tuman Bay. Everyone's looking over their shoulders all the time. Have you been a guard long? Come on, they've all gone off to war. No one's coming down here. Would you have liked to be off to war? A real soldier? 
<laughs> I just do what I'm told. And what were you told about me? That they are going to kill you. And it won't be quick. They'll make it last. That they have things that stop traitors from dying so the pain goes on and on and on. <laughs> Is that what I am? A, a traitor? It's a rebellion, isn't it? That's what they all say. <laughs> Aren't you scared? Do I sound scared to you? I've been freed from all that. I know we will win in the end, my brothers and sisters and I. We don't fear men and their gold and their armies because our hearts are strong in the God of all things. You are burdened by worry. Have you, my, my young friend, have you ever done anything simply because you wanted to and you knew it was absolutely the right thing to do? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Listen to me. Once you accept what is true, everything else falls into place. You know what your duty is. You know who your true commander is, and you know that this world is the merest nothing. And you know that there is a real world beyond this world of illusion. I, I, I don't know. All you have to do is put the key in the lock and turn it. No more worry. Just open the door. Open the door. This is the last place I want to be. What are we waiting for? But the first place I have to be. For you, Excellency. Your absence has been noted. My absence was due to my work. I hear your work has been less well received by the Sultan. Stories of crawling on the floor, weeping tears of remorse, begging. Was there begging? I think you were misinformed, Gregor. Really? Gossip is usually just a gossip. Enjoy your evening. Now, what is that slimy, conniving bastard up to? I hear the army are marching out in the morning. The morning? So I hear from the general. So it looks like things are happening. Then it's right that we are here. I don't like it. You don't have to. You're the Sultan's nephew. Be confident. Let people see that you are. General! Don Diego. May I present my wife, Donna Anna? Madame, it is a pleasure. I hope you don't find our ways too tedious or old-fashioned for your taste. I find everything in Tuman Bay fascinating. It is like seeing a legend come to life. Aren't legends generally myths? Oh, you all seem solid to me. <laughs> what is this? The Hafiz. You will no doubt bless the Enterprise if you can stand upright long enough. God has said that an idolater will come out of the East who will preach in his name, though she is the furthest of all people from his divine grace. She will fly black flags which begin with victory, but will end in defeat and misery. As you asked, Your Excellency, I have sobered him up. And you've done a good job, Bello. Oh, it wasn't easy, I can tell you. But he can at least do what he is supposed to do. Keep him that way. Thirst, hunger, and disease. Her staff will be broken. Her throne sundered. Her false generals crucified. I hear you're not going with the army, Madhu. All got a bit much for you, has it? Not at all, Kadali. Like you, I serve at the Sultan's command. And will your friend be remaining behind too? My friend? I'm referring to the handsome, blue-eyed soldier who goes in and out of your rooms. We are at war, Kadali. I'm surprised you still have time to waste on gossip and snooping. I have time for everything when the security of Tumen Bay is at stake. I thought that was Gregor's job. Or are you changing things? Are you thinking of running away with your blue-eyed friend? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Just remember, I am the Grand Vizier. I know everything. Is that a threat? It can be whatever you choose. Now, please do excuse me. 
I think that that old fake is finally finished and His Majesty is about to make an announcement. Our master, Abul Abbas Al Ghuri, Lion of Lions, Sultan of Eagles, destroy. I will crush this rebellion! And whilst I am leading our victorious forces, the Grand Vizier Kadali will be my voice. I will not fail you, Majesty. And will advise my nephew, Madhu, who will sit upon the throne as my regent. What? Together, they will preserve that balance that has been so important a part of Tuman Bay. But, Majesty, surely one voice, if I may be permitted to say, Madhu is young, he is... That is my decision. Do you object? Oh, no, 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 of course not, Majesty. To show my faith in my nephew, Madhu, I will place this ring, my ring, upon his finger. Madhu, come. Majesty, uncle, I accept this ring and swear on all I hold sacred and dear to me that I will serve Tuman Bay and you faithfully, as I know will the Grand Vizier Kadali. Of course, with all my heart. Come, Kadali, kneel and kiss the ring to show that we are united in our service. Vizier? <laughs> well, it seems you don't know everything, Kadavi. Let every man here kiss the ring in earnest of his duty. I will serve you. Thank you, Kula. I pledge my allegiance to you. Did you know about this, General? The wise man takes into account every possibility. At dawn we march. Beside me, at the head of our armies, will ride His Holiness the Hafiz. What? In battle? I am no soldier, sire. I am just a humble priest. You don't need to worry. You'll be carried on a palanquin. You will show this treacherous enemy that God is on our side and not hers. Seems that all is not at peace in the palace. I wonder, Diego, if we are seeing the last of something rather amazing. And rather out of time in this world. I leave the decisions to me, Diego. Everything is to play for in this game. Now we must say our good nights as if we are what we pretend to be. <clears throat> good night, sir. Thank you for your kindness. Did you know? I had an idea, yes. And you didn't tell me? It was. Yes. I should have shared it, but I wanted it to be a surprise. It certainly was that, but I'm happy for you. It could be a curse. It could be a new beginning for Tuman Bay. Will you? I will always be there. But you should be with your uncle right now. I think he's calling. Huh. He's probably got a victory perfume up his sleeve. <laughs> Madhu, come. Daniel. While I'm away, do not be a stranger. Manel will want to see you. Of course, sir. And my wife, too. She loves feeding hungry young fellows. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my brother's blue-eyed boy is playing a double game, too. Well, I must be off. Gregor, a word. I'm busy. As are we all. The Sultan wishes you to keep a close eye on the foreigners, the woman especially. I am ahead of you, Kadali. For once it seems you're doing your job. Day and night watch, daily reports to me and the Sultan. Don't fail him in this, my friend. I'm not your friend. <clears throat> or the next head on the floor will be yours. Madhu is no more your supporter than I am. Remember that. Who's in charge? 
Look, look. There. The Sultan. On the white horse. It looks rather small. Size isn't so important in Sultans, but look how big his army is. There. There. Riding up now. You see? That is General Kulan, the greatest soldier in Tumen Bay. And that, that's the Hafiz being carried along there. Can you see? They all look the same to me. What is it? I thought this might be interesting for the boy. Why did we have to come here? What do you mean? If we'd stayed home, none of this would have happened. They would have had their war. The mother would still be alive and would be happy and... Instead, I'm... What is it, Heaven? Nothing. I'm sorry. It's not for us to know God's plan. I have my daughter who was a girl when I left and is now a woman I am so proud of. We should go. We should go home. Come, boy, let's go. Tell your master I need to see him. Yes, Your Excellency. Please, wait here. seems like a bright boy. Mm -hmm. He could help in the business. Master Ibenbeck, there is a visitor. Yes, send him through. It's the builder. He's promised to mend us crack in the wall at last and finish the painting. Now, my friend. Ah, it's you. And what color were you thinking, sir? <laughs> Your Excellency, I... Uh, you... you... Survived the underworld? Of course. Who is this? A pearl that was lost and is found again. My daughter, Heaven. She has been restored to me. The gods have been kind to you, Ibn Bey. She is indeed a jewel. But I thought you and your mother... The plague... The, the, the ship was burnt. It was, sir. But I wasn't on it. And yet here you are. There was a storm. I was washed overboard and a fellow passenger saved me. He jumped into the sea. I would have drowned if it hadn't been for him. But we couldn't get back to the ship. We were washed ashore and we had so many adventures. It was like the old stories. What were you doing on deck? What? Um, During a storm? I... I don't know. I, I was... And a fellow passenger dived in to rescue you? That's right. And you survived at sea until you were washed ashore? Yes. No, uh, we were in a life raft. They launched it when they saw that uh, we... Of course, how foolish of me. It must have been difficult for them with the ship lurching around in the storm. I suppose so. This is the gentleman who saved me. The swimmer? How fortunate. I'm told many sailors do not know how to swim. <laughs> My name is... Uh, Akiba. Akiba. You have the better of me, sir. Gregor, master of the palace guard. Gregor. Where were you travelling from? Akubelan. Are you a traveller, sir? Not really. It's, it's only that uh, there is something familiar. Have we met? I think not. I was in the kingdom of Bornu some time ago. Do you know it? By reputation. I was never there. Isn't it the province of Tuman Bay now? We have a long reach and a great appetite for other people's lands. So I have heard. But you have come to see my father, sir. We will leave you. Akiba, I have something to show you. Will you come, please? You will excuse me, sir. Of course. I hope we meet again. I am sure we will. Oh, congratulations, sir. On surviving. Perhaps that is yet to be ascertained. Will you come now? It's a miracle. I lost the baby in the darkness of the night, and the very next day I have my daughter back. The baby is safe. Here, read this. Where? How is she, Sarah? Is they she... are safe. I need you to write a reply. What, you're the messenger now? 
Forgive me, I spoke out. Once I would have cut your throat for that. Times change. Write your reply. What are you doing? I'm going after him. He's the one then? He's the one. You can't! I can and I will. Out of my way. Listen to her. It would come back on her father, on all of us. They'd kill us for it. What do I care? I don't know. What do you care? Huh? Brother Wolf! She's coming! How long? How far? Our scouts are half a day. The main army close behind. Numbers? A hundred hands at least. Ten thousand. Very well, brother. Take the news. Tell the general. Yes, brother. We are the puppets, and God the puppet master. It's warm. Take it away. Where is she? Why doesn't she come? She will come, Majesty. Now or by dark? Majesty, you know no one fights in the dark if they can avoid it. Then where is she? We were told by afternoon it would be all over. The Hafiz, where is he? Shall I call for him? Of course. He must be here. Majesty, General Kulan sends that the enemy is in sight. Does he have your permission to engage? Of course he does. And tell him I want her alive. Alive, mind you. His own head on it. Yes, Majesty. Your armor, sire? Quick, quick. The Sultan's armor. Will you watch the battle, sire? There is a platform where you may see your victory. Yes, yes, Harry. <coughs> it was never that tight before. Ah, never mind. Come. Where's the Hafiz? Bring him. Let them bless the troops as they advance. She has fewer archers than we expected. She has enough to do the job she wants. Order shields up on my word. Bows up! Bows up! Will they try a ranging flight? No need. On my word. Lock arrows! Lock arrows! Lock arrows! Ball! Ball! That's it. Shields up! Shields up! Shields up! Here they come. Pray we stand firm. have gone down like gone before the sight. Signal Commander Wolf to ride. Signal! 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 On your mark, General. Cannons ready to fire. Wait. Wait for the cavalry to contain them. If they scatter, we'll lose them. Where in hell's name are the cavalry? Another flare, sir? She's falling back. We'll lose the range, General, if the cavalry don't charge now. What shall I do, sir? I'll go myself and give the order. <laughs> Hold them steady. You'll have your range, Gunner. I swear it. Shields up! Shields up! Wolf! What in God's name are you doing? I need your cavalry now! Now or we are lost! Now, man, we have her, we... Wolf? It's over, General. What do you mean? The battle is lost. Tuman Bay is lost. It always was. What are you? I trusted you! Arrest him! You betrayed me. You are a traitor. No, General. I was never a traitor. I was hers from the very beginning. In Tumen Bay, Episode 9, The Jaws of Victory, by Mike Walker, Gregor was played by Rufus Wright, Kadali, Matthew Marsh, Wolf, Alexander Siddig, 
Sarah, Nina Yindis, Ibn, Nabil El Wahhabi, Maya's envoy, Nadir Khan, Madhu, Danny Ashok, Daniel, Gareth Kennelly, Heaven, Olivia Popica, Slave, Akin Ghazi, Sultan Al Ghuri, Raj Rawi, General Kulan, Christopher Fulford, The Hafiz, Anthony Bunsey, Bello, Albert Welling, Frog, Divya Mir, Frog's mother, Serene Saba, Don Diego, John Sessions, and Donna Anna by Annabelle Dowler. Sound design was by Steve Bond. Music was by Sasha Putnam, and the editors were James Morgan, Anya Prajgoda, and John Owen. Tumen Bay Episode 9 is produced by Nadir Khan and John Dryden, and directed by Emma Hearn. Hey, I'm Josh Larson. And I'm Adam Kempinar. We're the hosts of Film Spotting. Since 2005, we've been sharing in depth movie reviews, top five lists, interviews with directors and actors, and more. Star Wars Episode 8 writer director Ryan Johnson, a former guest and guest host, called us a force for good in the universe. He hasn't called in a while. The AV Club, a fine online publication, referred to us as a podcast institution. But don't take their word for it. Check it out for yourself. New episodes every Friday. Visit us at filmspotting.net.